Hello, this is Michael Rashad, and today we're going to talk about join tables. What is a join table, and when do you need it? Well, simply put, a join table is a way of creating a multiple relationship, a many-to-many -many relationship. So if you have, for example, uh, a situation here where we've got a table of people, and those people are associated with a company, we don't need a join table. We simply need the relationship between companies and people using the primary key in the company table and the company ID field in the people table. There's, we've got one person, one company has multiple people. Now, if we're in a situation where we had people associated with multiple companies, that is when we would need a join table. So let's just create one. And we'll call it join people companies. We've created the table. Go to the fields and we're going to add just a couple of fields. So we're going to add our primary key, which we always need in every single table, whether you use it or not. We need a company ID to link to the companies table. And we need a people ID to link to the people table. Now, often a join table will just consist of the IDs of the tables that it's relating to. But sometimes you might add, you might need extra fields. And let's say in this case, they might have a different phone number at each company they work for, which is logical. So we add that to the join table because it's specific to that relationship or that record. We go back to looking at our relationship graph. We've got companies and people. And because we're going to be relating people to multiple companies, I'm going to position the join table to the right of people. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to link the primary key from the people table to the people ID here. And then I'm going to create another occurrence of the companies table which I'm going to call JCP companies, which tells me it's coming from the joint people companies, or JPC rather. And here I'm going to link it to the company ID. So there's our join table. Now, in this situation, we're going to be adding multiple companies to a single person. So it makes sense to allow us to create, to double click on the relationship and allow the creation of records in this table by the relationship. And we're going to delete the related records in the table if and when the person is deleted. So let's go back to our data set. And here we have all the individual people in a list. So let's view them. So we're now looking at a very simple detail layout for the people and you'll notice at the bottom we've got the field company ID well obviously we're not going to want to store that so let's substitute it with the company name from the relationship to companies so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the relationship the portal to show the relationship so we've got our portal set up join people companies you can see and we've got two fields we've got the company ID and we've got a direct phone number and what we need to do is to format the company ID field so we can simply select a company to associate with the person. So with the inspector up, we're going to go into the control style, change it to a pop-up menu, and we're going to choose values from companies, which I'd already set up, but let me take a look at it and just show you. So here's the fields in the value list. We've got the company ID field, and we've got the name. We're including all values because we want to show all companies. But we want to show values only from the second field. So when you click into the field, all you're going to see are the names of the companies, not the individual IDs. And now we're in Helga Rio, and we can simply select companies that she's associated with. And there's no limit. And we can go to somebody else, and we can choose companies that they're associated with. And obviously we can fill out the phone numbers and everything like this. 
and you'll notice that once we've created the first record, the second row is ready to be created. So that's all there is to using a join table. It's very simple, very powerful, very, very useful, and I think you'll get a lot of use out of them. Thanks for watching. This is Michael Rashad. Bye-bye.